Also at 11, mass migration concerns. Tonight, Florida politicians, including our Governor Ron DeSantis, are bracing for a possible surge of Haitian refugees packing into boats and arriving on our shores. The governor announcing today he is sending troops here to South Florida. CBS News Miami's Yvonne Taylor is in North Miami with new reaction. North Miami's mayor is Haitian American. He said that the words of Governor Ron DeSantis resonate in this community, especially after he said that the state faces the possibility of invasion. At this barbershop in North Miami, there's fear for the future of Haitians. The people leave their house, they don't, they don't have any place to stay. That's the reason like people try to live, to leave Haiti to come to the United States. And concerns over a possible influx of Haitian migrants to South Florida are growing. On Tuesday, the U.S. Coast Guard intercepted a boat off the coast of the Bahamas. It was filled with 65 Haitians. They were all sent back. They don't disperse throughout the country. But Republican Congressman Matt Gates says the deteriorating conditions in Haiti may lead to a wave of Haitians making their way to Florida on boats. What are we doing to prepare for that wave? and to ensure that these people are not paroled into the United States as the administration has done with people on the southern border, but instead are repatriated back at the dock at Port-au-Prince. On Wednesday, Governor Ron DeSantis issued a statement. It says, I have directed the Division of Emergency Management, the Florida State Guard, and state law enforcement agencies to deploy over 250 additional officers and soldiers to the southern coast of Florida to protect our state. He goes on to say, when a state faces the possibility of invasion, it has the right and duty to defend its territory and people. I mean, invasion? Come on. Alex Distom is the mayor of North Miami, the city with the highest concentration of Haitian Americans in the nation. He is appalled by the reaction from Washington, D.C. and Tallahassee. It's a humanitarian crisis. It's almost going to be a civil war. And there, there, you know, there are talks, there might be some influx of Haitian coming to the U.S. There's no evasion. If the governor wanted to have a conversation, we are here. You know, I think it would have been best for it to see, you know, what is it that we could do for the Haitian American community, for their families and friends, but to put out, you know, this evasion of illegal immigrants is not right. We notice many of these Haitians fear expressing their opinions for apparent retaliation here in the U.S. And, Haiti. and according to U.S. officials, the Biden administration is discussing whether using Guantanamo Bay to process Haitian migrants if there should be an exodus to the U.S. Now, the White House has not confirmed that, but the crisis continues. In North Miami, Ivan Taylor, CBS News, Miami.